one mat, we're going to share it. Okay. For our knees. I'm gonna have one of my beauty food kalumi marine <laughs> collagen protein bars um these are so yummy they're kind of like chewy let me hold on so this is how they look they're kind of chewy but they are so good they taste like um first of all my favorite one is the cacao one it tastes like not like super milk chocolate but it does taste like chocolate dark chocolate so it's a really good alternative because I'm an extreme sweet tooth person. So it helps me with my sweet tooth. I notice an instant change in my hair, skin, nails whenever I eat these bars. Um, I just love them. So I you can also use them as a meal replacement. I don't do that. I literally just eat it after a meal if I'm craving something sweet or sometimes I will eat it as a meal. Um, but I don't do it on purpose. I just do it because I'm craving the bar. So that's why I eat the bar But this is my I don't even know if this is lunch or a snack I just know that I'm hungry and I'm gonna eat this bar because I'm craving it So yeah, this is uh, what I'm eating now time to give you a home tour since I get a lot of questions on Instagram Hold on. okay so first we're gonna start let's start here first so this buffet is from Ikea which I am going to do something so cool to it I can't wait to show you um, there's like this new brand that you can customize your Ikea furniture. I could totally turn this buffet into like a whole Serena and Lily type vibe. I can't wait to do that. And no, it's, it's a buffet. I keep 
basically like there's oh give me one second and here i keep um just some plates some bowls here is alfredo's little bar section with all the cups um i got this from home goods this is from home goods this is this decanter is from cb2 i keep water in there um the menorah is from cb2 as well home goods i don't remember where i got this book i love books i love having them i love looking at them reading them but um i had too many so <laughs> i had to put some away and i just left my favorite one up here I got these at Trader Joe's just for like, I don't feel like doing the whole Christmas tree thing right now. So this is my little Christmas tree number one. And that's my little Christmas tree number two. This little um, disco snowman is from CB2, I believe. Yeah, it's from last year or two years ago. Look at this mess. All right, now let's go over here. This table, believe it or not, I got it at Home Goods. I when I saw this table at Home Goods, I didn't leave it out of my sight. I was like, "This is mine." I didn't even leave. <laughs> I didn't even leave um, this table to go tell a worker that I needed it taken to my car. I literally waited by it until a worker passed by me, and then I'm like, "Listen, I'm gonna buy this table." It does have like this little dent right here, and I'm pretty sure I caused that. I don't remember that having that, or if it did, I did. I really didn't care um just kidding it did have it because i asked them for a discount because of a damage somewhere so that's probably what it was um and then i purchased this at home goods with this table the same day i felt like it brought the whole table together and it just created the look that i was going for these books are from home goods online though i buy i buy all my books either on home goods tj maxx website or in the actual store that is my little bag from uh, dagna dover that i keep my sunglasses in that's my dylan kane shopping bags where those purses came in i just feel like they're so good looking that i wanted to have it displayed somewhere in the house um along with my little bags so cb2 as well as these things this is my new candle from ember and beam it smells so good it's made from coconut wax it's so good and then the little thing that it comes in is also really good to reuse it's like it looks like a cement kind of thing but it's not i think it's glass i remember where i purchased this from i i think i got this from i purchased this from a store in los angeles i don't remember what it was called um I honestly don't remember what it was called, but it was a store in Los Angeles. Um, so here are my Salty Club things. And this little bowl is also from CB2. And I just got these, I think, in Amazon or like in some boutique that I was in. And yeah, that's that. This this um, this um mirror is from Home Goods as well. Guys, Home Goods is the place to go if you want cute stuff i'm telling you cb2 home goods are my number one place where i go and shop at um but yeah that's this I'm currently stocking a table from restoration hardware it's a black um round dining table that i want and these are gonna these are the chairs that i have they are from all modern every time i get asked where they're from i it breaks my heart to tell you they're from all modern but they don't carry it anymore so i actually got the last six chairs after i purchased these six chairs there was no more it was like out of stock and they never came back um online so those chairs are from all modern i just purchased these yesterday they're so pretty guys but i think i'm gonna sell these and i already have somebody i think that is gonna come pick them up today i love it don't get me wrong i love it i love how it looks it's just so beautiful i i can't deal i'm it breaks my heart but i can't like oh my god <laughs> they're so pretty but I'm, I'm selling them just because i'm not i don't need accent chairs at the moment i don't know if i'm gonna like them a year two years from now when i move out buy my home i don't know if it's gonna match 
it barely matches right now i'm just being stubborn i love it I sometimes like i could i could make it match like in certain angles and stuff and it looks so pretty but overall i don't need them and if i can resell them again that's what i'm gonna do so i <laughs> i literally purchased these yesterday i took some pictures um and i'm just gonna sell them again so yeah they're literally for the purpose of pictures um this coffee table i also got it from offer up offer up offer up this is a italian travertine table it's like a two three thousand dollar table and i got it for four hundred dollars so i love shopping at the offer up app or like thrifting items or anything because you get such unique pieces honestly for a steal so that's why i love shopping there i was actually thinking about kind of uh, opening up like a little store and curating all these items that i find on the offer up app because i'm so good at like seeing the potential in items and seeing things that are like in style and that are beautiful and classic so i was actually thinking about doing that this is my christmas tree number two this rug is from overstock um i'm actually gonna go ahead and link everything for you guys just in case i'm gonna link it so this is from offer up i also have a home highlight in instagram if you guys are ever interested in like some of the links i won't be able to link majority of the things just because majority of the stuff is home goods but i'll try and find like similar items for you this is the infamous <laughs> anthropology mirror i actually wanted to get rid of it and just because it's the medium size and i would have rather have it been like a little bit taller but at the moment i went ahead and splurged on the medium but i do wish that i had like a bigger wall there because here it's like here's my full body but if i'm gonna go and take a picture here it's like i don't know like it's weird i always feel like i have to go like that but um that's that these little pom-poms are from cb2 this is the couch that i was eyeing for for like three four years and i was like that couch is way too expensive i'm never gonna get that couch i got another couch when i moved into this apartment i ended up hating it me and alfredo always sat on the floor it was like major back pain all the time and I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell the couch. So I sold it. And then I went to the restoration out restoration hardware outlet. And we were without a couch for like four months. But I don't know if it was one. One to, two, one to four months. I tend to over exaggerate or like go very low. So I don't know. But we were without a couch for a while. And I was calling and uh, harassing restoration hardware for like a good couple of months if they ever had one of these going stock to please let me know and guys it was so worth it this couch is like four to six thousand dollars i'm not sure and i got it for two thousand dollars brand new in the box nothing was wrong with it if you live in miami and you love restoration hardware they have an outlet and you have to go and see because they have beautiful pieces they're fine some are like a little bit dent or it's like a scratch but it's so worth it okay, this painting i've always wanted like a painting here that matches my aesthetic and my beautiful sister-in-law did this one for me it turned out gorgeous and she actually has her own little insta page where you can go ahead and dm her so you can tell her how you want it um and she may might also have a couple already done that you can go ahead and just she can go ahead and send you pictures and then you can let each other know so this is oh yeah so over here we have my media it is from cb2 this was a splurge the only reason that i splurged on that piece was because i was so frustrated for a good like seven months looking for a great media that was better than this one or that i liked better than this and i nothing came close to this one so my thing is if you love it and you know you're gonna use it and it's the one that you love the most get it doesn't matter so that's 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 uh, like i rather splurge on something that i love than get then buy something that i don't like that much and i'm gonna be looking at it every single day and it's not what i initially wanted so that was a splurge now like this year i found some cool medias that are that are less expensive and that are beautiful as well so if i would have seen those 
two years ago, I would have definitely not gotten this, but I love it. I still like it. I like looking at it. It's very minimalistic, super cute. Ikea didn't have anything that looked like this, but there's this girl on Instagram that got an Ikea um, furniture and customized it to look somewhat like this. And in my opinion, hers look, looks better. So if you want something like this, you can go to Ikea and customize it yourself and it'll look super cute. This little thing is from Serena and Lily. That is from CB2, I believe. I think that's CB2. That book is... I, I don't remember where I got that book from, actually. And that is my Vitruvi diffuser. I love, I love their diffusers. They're so pretty. It's like a nice stone diffuser. It comes in white, black, gray, and like a beautiful kind of like tan color. Um, but yeah, that's my diffuser. These chairs are from CB2. I do want to get rid of all the this kind of material. Um, that's why I was looking forward to getting rid of it because I wanted to make my home a little bit more minimalistic and without this. Um, but whatever, it's there. I like them. It's not like I don't like them. I like them. Uh, but yeah, I would have rather have some kind of like cool black looking ones, like completely black. But yeah, that's there. This little bowl is from Home Goods, and this is where I keep my bananas and some fruits. I recently redid the, um, the hardware in my home, I bought spray paint, and I painted the rods black. And then I went to Home Depot and asked a guy to cut these planks out for me because before I had these. This is a mess. I had those. They're like an orange wood, which I wasn't like a fan of. I wanted it a little bit more natural looking. Um, so yeah, I redid that myself. It was like everything was 20 bucks just to redo it. So here I keep like recently I had only cups up here, like um, glass cups. But then I thought I would kind of like make it a little bit more like decorate a little bit more. So that is from Home Goods, Home Goods. That little honey pot is from William Sonoma. These books are from Amazon. This little pot here. I keep my kiwis in it. <laughs> but it also brings this little thing that I just keep off of it because I keep my kiwis in there. So, and that is this section. This bowl is from Home Goods. Guys, Home Goods is the place to go. My little Smeg toaster. Um, uh, this was a specific buy for Alfredo. He likes coffee in the morning sometimes. So if we got if we bought one, I just said that it has to match with the kitchen. So I, I like my kitchen appliances to all look the same. So that's why I have that. My little Smeg teapot. Um, this I don't like this color. So, but this is the closest that I can get. Um, these are my knives. They're from Schmidt Brothers. I got them at Crate and Barrel. Two more, but I think they're being washed. And the pots also have to be like that. I'm very specific with my kitchen. This is from Target, where I keep my lemons and my avocados. These are from Target. This little marble thing, which I want to change into like a pottery type Italian looking base to put uh, my wooden spoons uh, but yeah that's from target my trash can is from simple human i like the trash can it has kind of like a sleek look to it and so i'm very particular about my trash my trash can it can't look like you know an eyesore it has to look at least you know nice to look at um there's a little random basket there that i keep there just in case i'm like i ever want to go on a picnic i have my little picnic basket there which i never do it's just there so it's like just there it's from target and i keep some of the kitty stuff in there <laughs> that's a mess um okay so now i'm gonna show you the bedroom so here we have the room um there's a lot more that i want to do to this space but so far this is where i'm at this rug is from Overstock as well. Over here I have this picture. It's from Society6. It used to be hung on the wall. Um, I think, where was it hung? It was above our bed because our bed used to be here. 
but now I just placed it right here next to the bed. I feel like it, this little section right here looks kind of cute with the picture there, so I left it there. Our nightstands are from Ikea. Here I have one, some of the many books that I bought and I don't know what to do with because it's not like I have a huge house to decorate. I put them right here. I have this High Vibrational Beauty, this Aloha book. So cute. And that Waves book. I just love pictures and books. They look so cute. This little decorative item is from CB2. And the candle is from Home Goods. Our bedding is from Brooklinen. I usually only buy from Parachute, but I collaborated with Brooklinen and they sent these over. And honestly, Alfredo says that these are the best covers that he's ever had, even compared to Parachute. But I think it's because <laughs> Parachute is linen and this is cotton. So he might not be a linen fan, but these sheets are from Parachute. And I mean Brooklinen and the bed skirt I got from Target just because our bottom base is black and I was over the whole black bed frame thing. This black bed used to come with a black headboard which I threw away and then since I don't want to go and splurge on another bed that I, the one that I want is like super expensive, I just covered it up and for now it'll do just until we have our forever home. Over here, I have this little stool that I purchased at Home Goods with a Home Goods mirror. Um, I want a full length mirror right here, but so far we just have that. This dresser is from IKEA, and I purchased the handle knobs from Amazon. Here, I keep all my hoop earrings in this little marble tray that is from Home Goods. And I keep my necklaces here and I purchased this from Amazon. Here, another little stool from Target. And I have my little blanket here that I purchased in Home Goods. My nightstand is like complete with books. Um, these are books that I have already read, books that I'm currently reading. I read this one already. Books for pleasure and books to learn. Here, I have my little CBD feels for nighttime my hand cream, my hand lotion. I used to have a candle here, so that's why this is here. And another Retro V diffuser. There's not much here in the bathroom, just cause I don't like overcrowding stuff. So this rug, I think I purchased from Overstock years ago. I just needed a long rug right here. Um, these little things are from Target. My favorite hand cream is this one from Beauty Counter. It leaves your hands so soft. So over here I have this portrait from uh, Target, I believe. I kind of wanted to go with like a beachy vibe for the bathroom. I think it like brings the bathroom together without overcrowding it just because I don't want anything on the floor. I love hanging my robe next to my shower just because it gives it like a hotel vibe and I like creating that kind of like vacation mentality at my home um, just to keep it like fresh and nice. So these are from Parachute. This is also from Parachute and this towel is from Parachute. There's It's the waffle collection. Usually on this side of the apartment, I never show just cause it's Tropicom's quote unquote headquarters. And this space is basic, it's very boring. It's just where I have everything that's Tropicom. This is all the clothes that I have to sell in Poshmark. Um, <laughs> It's where I keep my, it's like basically my workstation. There's nothing out of the ordinary in the space, just comfortable, a place to store all of Tropicum stuff. So I needed a table for my workstation just to pack all the orders. I got this one from Overstock. It was like a hundred bucks. I wanted something that looks, you know, nice, but it wasn't gonna break the bank or anything. Just wanted something just wanted something handy and good looking. So I went to Overstock good and I got- Good looking like you, baby. I got this from Urban Outfitters. And this is from Ikea. And this little lamp is from Target. 
But yeah, guys, that's it. That's my little home tour. I hope you enjoyed that and that I was able to answer some questions that I get on Instagram. Um, if you want to know anything else, just comment below and I'll answer. I'm going to put some links along with this video. That is my home tour.